Hey there, BC. James here with part three of, I guess I'll just call it, finally another final update. More blind 45s. But this one I didn't have as much luck with. There was a couple I didn't like. First off is a split between Batilius on red vinyl and Mutilation Rights. I'll spin this sucker in the background. I put the 45 first. <clears throat> so this is mutilation rights. Oh wow, this thing is not that loud. I hope you can hear this because this is not that loud. I, uh, this up, Crosley Cruiser, well, that's as loud as it gets, but then again maybe it's because it's on the floor too. Yeah, so you can understand that. Next up, the oldest one I found was Coasters, Hey Cowboy from 1995. Also on a red vinyl. This is 33 RPM. This one didn't play properly. Because it was scratched, because how old it was sitting there for. come with a sticker. <laughs> then I got Sweet Tea, if I were a carpenter, both cover songs. Crazy Arms. This one's not the best either, but it's on a nice white vinyl. this in the order of which ones I want to do a needle drip on and which ones I didn't want to. Guess what? <clears throat> I wasn't supposed to needle drop this one. I did anyway. Sweet tea. No. I mean, coasters, no. Batilius slash whatever. No. <laughs> I have no idea what this one's supposed to be either because it doesn't say. I really hate when they don't tell you what speed to have it on. Alright, let's do if I were a carpet. I want to say this is a 45. This one was still sealed also, by the way, when I got it. Oh yeah, so this was the right speed. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the first one that I really liked was Credible Threads by 1AM Radio. This one I actually came with, because the video for this song is in 3D, so it came with 3D glasses. And this one has the ugliest vinyl I've ever seen. Check that out. I mean, it looks like something my cat threw up. Or, like, basically, we're like, hey, let's make a colored vinyl. 45, 7 inch single for our new song, Credible Threats. What color should we make it? Oh man, the cat just threw a... Hey, that's an idea for a color. No.
another one that doesn't say what it is. Okay, so this one's called Lady Luck. On a nice pink vinyl. Ah, uh, lucky day. I want to say this one is also going to be 45, but I could be mistaken. 45. This one's also pretty old too, this one's from 97. Then this one was still sealed too. This one I'm not going to drop because I might get in trouble. This is Filter. Uh, the Inevitable Relapse. Uh, same song on both sides. One's the Robert Patterson, Rob Patterson 666 mix. I didn't want to buy a whole new Crosley because the CD player, the tape deck, and the radio still work. It's the record player got busted, so I just picked this up. This will be nice because I can put it away. All right, next is the Frustrators Griller. This actually was a Record Store Day official release, 2011. Also, that's three red vinyl I got in the same haul. This one's actually pretty good. This is like a pop punk one. This one is what now again? This one's four tracks too. It's Stigma, West of Texas Part Two, Prettiest Girl, and We Need to Talk. It's not you, it's us. And this one actually, this is probably the one I really enjoyed. Maybe like this. This is pretty cool. No, this one's 33 RPM. Why can't they just write it down there? Why? So yeah, the Grillers. On Doctor Strange Records. I'll just let them. I don't feel like you. This one. Oh, let's go with this one next. John Jever, the music is your series. I guess there's more than one of these. One is just on a normal black vinyl. But, um, it's a split. Wow, I didn't realize how scratch that was right there. Uh, leaving on a jet plane performed by Slightly Stupid, which is a reggae version of it, which is kind of interesting. And then Back Home Again by The Expendables. Something that was a reissue of something from really a long time ago, 1983, The Obsessed. Uh, three tracks, uh, Iron and Stone, and, Des and Destroy, and Sodom Jackal on TKO Records. So this one was pretty cool. This one's really old school sounding. Matter of fact, you know what? We're going to do the old job on this one, too. This one at least says it's 45 RPMs, which is nice. Yeah, so a very old reissue of 1983 DT, I guess you would call it. Also a sealed one, which was Fan Fairlow, Harold T. Wilkins, or How to Wait for a Very Long Time. This one's also on normal black. Finals the custom label there. This one wasn't too bad. Kind of poppy. And then finally, I say this one for last because this is just hilarious. This is so I bought this one for the cover. Source Lords, Evil Spawn. 
on Urinal Cake Records from 2011. Urinal Cake Records' first release was this single by Source Lords, and the only thing released by Source Lords, <laughs> with the end on the other side. And this one is just an interesting thing because, hey, I own the entire discography right here. Got all the Source Lords' discography in one hand. <laughs> Also, I mean, this is total underground garage. This, uh, this Neural Cake Records is Detroit, Michigan. I mean, the drums sound like they were bought in a thrift store. A lot of tangy, tangy noise that shouldn't be there on a drum set. Baja Blast. But yeah, so that's going to be it for this update. This Obsess is kind of cool, though. This one's actually not bad, it just sounds really... Yeah, I mean, if you want underground, underground punk, you get this one. Oh yeah, I think it also has lyrics too, yeah. Evil spawn, won't you bite my dick off. Insect tits, won't you tear the tip off. Now those are some... You know, that's one heck of a chorus. No, isn't it? <laughs> Alright, now that the music is done, I will say goodbye. Until next time. I do have one heck of a CD update to do, too. I've got, like, 16 CDs I've bought since the last one. So maybe I'll get around to doing that. See you later.